full day 12, I think. This is my first time doing an OPK. If y'all don't know what an OPK is, it is an ovulation predictor kit. And I got it from the Baby Dust Method. Look them up on Amazon. I will put the link down below if you're interested. But anyway, let's us begin. Here goes the pee pee. So when five minutes is done, I will be back. All right, y'all. So the results are in. So I'm going to show you what it is and pretty much explain and let y'all know what's our next step. So after five minutes of pee, this is what we see. Oh, that's us Call me. This is what we see. So. Mommy. This right here, the darkest line, is the control Mommy, line. Mommy, where's Bree? At school. Okay, the dark line that you see right there, it is the control line. This one is the test line. So what you're supposed to do is, you're supposed to put this strip in your pee. It doesn't matter what time of day or morning, afternoon, night that you do it. Um, you just put it in there for three seconds at the max line. So you see where it says max right there? That is where you would put the P up to. Do not go past the black line, okay? Do not try to collect more P. So then after five minutes, the results will pop up and it will tell you if your LH has surged or that ovulation is coming within the next 24 to 48 hours. So as you can see, mine's is negative because the control line, which is the dark line, is the test line is lighter than the control line. So once it's positive, both of the lines will be the same exact color. So as it says right here as well, interpretation of results, this is what an LH surge would look like, which lets you know that you'll be ovulating within the next 24 to 48 hours and to do the baby dance okay or not to do the baby dance either way if you're not trying to get pregnant or you're just doing it to track when you're ovulating so you know not to have sex on those days so you won't get pregnant but this is what LA surge would look like if it's positive this right here which is how mine's look as you can see up there see how it's dark and then light and dark this one right here is no LH surge so the control line is dark and then it's like a light pink like a faint color and then it's invalid if just the control line shows up so if the dark line shows up and just the dark line and nothing else you have to do another test so we will check again at 8 43 p.m and i will let you know the results or i'll just let you know in tomorrow's post okay bye What's up? What is good? YouTube. So today, um, I don't know what time it is. I know when I woke up, it was like 9.53 or something like that. It was 9.53 and I was supposed to be, um, taking my basal body temperature with the thermometer and charting that down. I did that. So... And put it into my calendar then all of a sudden the calendar want to be like um yeah you're not gonna ovulate when we thought you was gonna ovulate you go ovulate on this day and i was like well how the hell i'm supposed to ovulate on that day how i mean how i don't know but um yeah so i took my morning why did i just have a brain fart anyway I took my morning OPK. I wanted to do it live, but y'all, as soon as you wake up, you just, you ain't thinking about it. You trying to pee as fast as you can because you've been holding it for six, seven hours. So, yeah. But I did not record it. I promised the one for lunch. I will record it for you guys and I will put it down below. But I don't want to make this long because 
this is going to be like the whole cycle days of when I was doing it. So, yeah. Anyway, let us go and see what we got. All right, guys. So, this is my OPK progression from the 12th. So, as you see, I took it on the 12th at 843 and then 152 nose both with both faint but they're all the same color see that's the only thing I don't like about these is they're the same damn color the control line and the test line are both the same color until we get to this day here cycle day 13 which is today I took it at 10 a.m. I don't know if I should wait for it to completely dry 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 all the way to the white the background is showing but to me, that is looking like a big fat motherfucking positive beach. That is a positive. So, yeah, that is looking like it's a positive. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. And Facebook had put me on a block or a hold. They should blocked my ass. Yes, they should blocked me. Um, <laughs> so I'm not able to post on the group that I'm a part of, which is the Baby Dust Method group on Facebook where you try to gender sway your gender sway yeah so as I said we was trying for a boy so I've just been messaging the admin and she's been kind of helping me through it because as I said it's my first time I don't really know what the hell I'm doing but that is looking like a positive mother test okay so if it is I am baby dancing tomorrow and the day after that I want to do it today but I'm scared if I do it today I'm gonna get me a girl so and I told hubby if he give me a boy if he give me a girl I'm leaving him so yeah but that is all I wanted to say for this cycle day 13 January 14th 2018 signing out okay what is up guys so Okay, so I have at least five cycle days of OPK progressions to show you guys. Um, just so you can see how it looks, what it looks like so far, and what my plan was, what I did, and all that good stuff. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is. It is morning time right now. It is about to snow. The kids are stuck at home. Hubby is at school. Yay. So, let's get this party started. See you in my next video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and share with your friends who is also TCCN or would like to know more information about TTC. Okay, so as you see here, I started on the 12th. Okay, even though my period ended on the 6th, I started on the 12th in the morning time. Cycle day 11. I do two. I had two set two tests a day. These were all faint. Then cycle day 12. Faint. 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 Positive. This was my big fat positive on my um thing. So this was the first one. This happened at 10 o'clock in the morning. So what we decided to do, since we're swimming for a boy, we decided to have done a on the 14th. I mean, this was the 14th, so we decided to do baby dance on the 15th. So then it went back to light, then back to dark. Then the same, the same, the same, the same, darker. I don't know what this was about. This was a crazy one because all you see all the dye on the side like that. But yeah, so it was dark then too at 2.28 p.m. Then it was the same as all the other ones. And we baby danced there too. You see the hearts, we baby danced, that was at 10. And then this is the one that I just took on the 17th, 9.57. And this is what it looks like. To me, it looks like it is still, it went back negative. So look how dark the control line is, y'all, in the test line. So, yeah, that's my progression so far.